to another Woo 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 video. We are going to be highlighting some of our favourite moments from last year and reflecting on all the incredible things that we have achieved so far. A lot of pain and misery. Hey, yo. Loads of pain and misery. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of action though. And we started off the year by popping some bottles, celebrating our new workshop, did some burnouts. The end goal of doing a burnout inside. Yeah. That was it. If you haven't seen the video what this place is to go look like, I urge you to go watch our suffering. Obviously with the uh, creation of the space and the HQ, it's given us the ability to uh, start building the community that we want to kind of grow on. So obviously we've done a fair few events here. I think a standout one was probably, was games night, I think. It's the one we really put our, our efforts into and our heart and soul. Yeah. Our heart and soul! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I kind of feel like the, the car world's a little bit stagnant in terms of shows. There's not really much creatively going on, so we thought we'd try to do something a little bit different. Turn the HQ into a car arcade. Car arcade. We're gonna do a few more of them throughout the year as well. Hopefully with better setups and stuff. I think Mario Kart went down a tree. That was yeah, probably I slap, slapping so hard. Just everyone was screaming. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to come play some Mario Kart, keep an eye out on our platforms to see when we're hosting another one. It's um, gonna be big. Yeah, and then obviously Coffee and Cruise as well. That's mm. pretty cool. Yeah, we've seen a lot of cars. They got bigger throughout the year, which has been cool. Like the first one was mainly just our friends, just kind of testing out the idea. By the end of the year, we probably had about. 30, yeah. yeah, 20, 30 people here, which is pretty cool. We are hoping to host a whole load of events this year. So we'll probably be documenting that as part of our, our video content. We have a lot of ideas in the pipeline for that and we're trying to be pretty consistent with hosting things, so. Some of them will be experimental and then some of them will just be like having a barbecue. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's mm -hmm. a good point, barbecues, man. We're gonna try and have a scale X trick day where Everyone can come and destroy our Skeletrix cars. <laughs> Why has everything always got to be about destroying? We've released quite a lot of uh, merchandise this year as well. So we've done t-shirts, hats, beanies, wiper blade, calendar just recently. Pretty sweet, got to showcase some of our own photos that we've taken over the past year or so. And really we're just trying to develop what we can put out. Keep it quality, but also keep it original. We want to create some more fun uh, concepts and we're really thinking about that before we just chuck a load of stuff out there. Seeing the places that all this stuff goes out to is really like... Yeah, it's interesting. Heartwarming. Yeah, keeps us going. <laughs> we'll do some like really cool limited collections yeah. over this coming year. But we got to make them fleeky, so you might have to wait. <laughs> yeah, wait, but then when it comes out, don't wait. <laughs> this has literally been an epicenter for us this year, the HQ. Not only because we get to put on events and stuff, we've actually got a space that we can all work from so obviously we've got that office set up and stuff here it's so nice having a kitchen you can come up mm. put something in the oven I, i've had eggs on toast so many times. this is just unheard of the standout thing is having the ramp and the workshop which has been such a blessing not having to be out in the rain being able to work on our cars our mates cars worked on the volvo your yeah. touring my skid car all our mates cars like grognax e34 bill where we did the engine swap on that pamela obviously best learner Shout car the, the, ri the rise and fall I drove a semi to the pub this year. Yeah, yeah. that's pretty mental. I've sat in my house ever since, but I did drive. Really a crazy one for us. <laughs> We've all known that car a very long time. Amazing to actually see it it's come into fruition and be on the road yeah. for at least a day or two. <laughs> you didn't have a <laughs> And none of us had a clue, so it was like, it would have just been wasted effort trying to help you, really. <laughs> No, it's true was, though, like, do you know what I mean? Things, though, getting the exhaust manifolds on that, that was like a 10 man job. That was a theme throughout everything, just attempts and hope for the best, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's true. And then more recently, we've started our Green 36, which the next episode should be dropping pretty soon, so. Yeah, pretty cool to finally get that back going as well, and a car that we can each just not have to worry too much about. Over the last year, it's uh, having this workshop has really allowed us to not only work on our own cars, but then work on friends and customers cars so we've had some pretty cool stuff in here we've had luke with his e36 that's another m54 swap fixed the swap for him yeah. it was pretty messed up so everything got tied up by us and we've done lots of stuff on that car oh, he went to the um, ring what, yeah. after he built it yeah, we yeah. yeah that's he cool went to the ring. We yeah blow up, so. and then we got to meet some star cars we met joey briefly but never actually 
got our hands stuck in on his E36. He does have two, but there's the one that's known in the scene. And uh, it was pretty cool to be able to work on the uh, air ride on that. And then we got Gresswell down. It was the first time probably meeting Gresswell as well. And he was an absolute saint, <laughs> isn't he? He is a darling, he is. Another really stand out one was Brad Supra, I think. That was scary. Was <laughs> <laughs> upstairs and looking over the banister and just seeing. Is that a chufra? They're obviously getting to like to step it outside the garage. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty cool getting people to trust us with such cars. Mm -hmm. Professionals nowadays, though. I mean, some other things we worked on are Corrado built Drew's E46 for him and then he wrote it off the next day. Had Misha's M5 in here. Really everything from your nan's MPV that she goes to the shops in to her M140s. To some weird ass yeah. camper van thing. It's been pretty good, uh, eclectic mix of cars. I work as an automotive photographer and filmer, so I've always just shot cars, either in like a cinematic way or just in like little car features and stuff like that. So we, we've only done a handful this year yeah. just because we got, it kind of shifted, mm -hmm. it went from about just making everything look really saucy to actually tailoring our content a little bit more towards us. My favourite one was Tom's PS13. That was cool. And we were out late that. What time did we get back? Like, like four. And we yeah. were doing the burnout in front of the uh, Dartford Crossing. Yeah. That was pretty good. That was a yeah. big burnout as well. <laughs> SR20s are so loud. Yeah. I want to see that car back at Dory Fest, Tom, so get building it. Hurry up, mate. <laughs> Another one we did was Jib's R34 Skyline. I think he's literally got one of the sickest Skylines in the country. And the, the colour on it, like all the aero, is so mm -hmm. hard. I think he was mentioning about skidding that again this year, so. It's an expensive drift car, He's right got cahoonies. Another one was Gresswell's GX61. Yeah. That was pretty cool. That was like the last, like, I think it was the last day of summer that we shot that. Yeah, it was. Mm -hmm. Watching him go around the lanes near where he lives, banging the frame off everything. Barking, <laughs> it's so <laughs> noisy. The yep. exhaust just like. Ah, nah, 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 nah. That's a, like a happy days car. You just cruise around with that with a big grin on your yeah. face. More of those this year because obviously we want to document cool cars in this country. Mate, a lot of it is the person behind it as well. Though. That's the problem, isn't it? You want to bring all the sauce, but you also want the story behind it. Be some sauce, some waffle. Yeah. <laughs> We're just going to mix up the format a little bit and keep keep the cinematics in there, but maybe just try and get a little bit more behind the scenes doing basically build videos on people's cars but we've sort of tailored it to the name of project homegrown basically bringing people down to the yard getting them to walk us through their car or their build and then get them to just rip it up out back because we got a nice little skid track skid track, skid track right that's a dance floor man <laughs> so yeah. those are boogie moves you yeah, had quite a lot our most recent one was uh the gripped up boys the gripped up boys the two mx5s jimmy got run over the six in both of them that together sick. that yeah. was sick they were they were getting down I yeah jib skyline smoky boy crazy build stupid power on it so the uh, big bird yeah now. big big cloud of smoke lots of noise so that was sick we had an imp down small classic car uses it for racing but obviously so small and light that you can still Get rowdy in it. Yeah, James Ibbotson, yeah, he was He knows how to pedal, thing. man. Yeah, he can drive. He knows how to pedal. Toyota, that's pretty cool. Another old build, but it's sort of been drift spec. He was having some gearbox issues at the time, but he still managed to get it going and had some fun in that. The last one's probably Gresswell's GX61. Another classic car, lowered on air ride. Hasn't got that much power, because it's the original engine but he still managed to make it work. So this year we also attended a lot of events. We went to Goodwood, which is always a good show. Pretty historic track. Um, and it's usually pretty good weather because they're always in summer. So. We also went to some pretty like big scale events. So all of us went out to France for Le Mans. Yeah, Le Mans classic though. So it wasn't the uh, actual 24 hour race. They segmented an insane amount of cars the and there. all like crazy historic, crazy expensive, some super rare stuff, and you get access to places that you might have never thought you would be going. Oh, yeah. Break this glowing red, this fire. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, it's just a big noise as well. Really, like yeah. when them GT40s go past, you mm -hmm. can feel it in yeah. your chest. It's like, it's like a hit while walk. It's mental, it? <laughs> yeah. GT40s, man. There's a local show called Classics on the Common, and uh, we've been going there since we were little babbies. We had a stand this year. Had some cars on display. It was good to get mm -hmm. everyone down there and just like interacting with everybody. 
building the community and stuff, um, being able to showcase what we've done, what we're trying to achieve to all the local people that we've known and grown up with. Would well, have never thought we'd have a business stand at our local. No, that's, yeah, like, really that's a, not our yeah. big local car show. It's yeah. the biggest midweek UK car show. I think it's Europe, is it? Yeah, it's yeah. massive. Yeah. So we were meant to do this basically. That's in our hometown. Um, <laughs> but we also did the Roll Hard show at Vista Heritage. That was a banging show. Mm -hmm. Like the Roll Hard ones are always on point and to be able to have a stand there. We had a couple of my mates cool cars, E36 and a Z3, uh, PS13, obviously the Simi was there. Glorious day, yeah. Hopefully again this year there. as well. Yeah, Dan and the crew really know how to put on a good show. Love you. <laughs> like, trade stand if you want to call it that. Like, oh, yeah, we, built, we that. built that all ourselves and stuff. We didn't want to just mm -hmm. pop up a crappy table and personal style on it really. Mm -hmm. Like it's got loads which of George's is, old skateboards which is on it. Finding everything you can that is lying there dormant and cobbling it together. For We're just making makes excuses for no money. For being <laughs> like, it was crazy how long some of that stuff took us to make. <laughs> and then we only took it to like two events. So yeah. we gotta really use it this year. Dory Fest was a standout event. Mm -hmm. It was its first year, so it wasn't super popular or really busy yeah. because a lot of people didn't know what it was. A tee up between LZ Fest and Dory Fest and we thought LZ Fest was just going to be absolutely manic so mm -hmm. we went to Dory Fest and I think we... Yeah, that was no, a good choice. They, the right they nailed it out of the gate for their first year hosting that event. Like, definitely up there with one of the best events in the UK for Drift. And, and we stayed in the spa. Compare that to what we did at Matsuri, which is like the other end of the scale. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we yeah. slept in the Land Rover, that was quite... Oh man, what that tent, that tent was hot. It, it did us well for one sleep, but yeah, it so. smelt so bad. Yeah, and drove away for the day, came back and it blown oh, into oblivion. Half into the Atlantic. <laughs> yeah, one thing I will say about that location is it is cold. very cold and very windy. <laughs> so uh, really if cold. you're going, bring your windbreaker. Yeah, yeah and your wellies as oh, well, God, yeah. muddy. We didn't actually get to do much driving ourselves this year because mm -hmm. we didn't, really have the cars to be able to do it. We were just trying to document stuff and shoot a lot of cars and it was really more about being behind the camera last year. We can skid but we haven't, like, last year we only went to one skid day mm. so the seat time was minimal. We did end it on a banger. Going to the last drift day at Santa yeah. Pod, like mm. that was sick with all the boys, all the gripped yeah, up yeah, lot, yeah, everyone was, was sending it. Yeah, lots, lots more skid action. Even Cresswell was there. That was mental. Yes. That uh, feeling yeah. when you clip something or like do something you're not meant to. It just feels I so think good. I think he's learned that lesson yeah. on his first drift day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he didn't like it, did he? Right, he didn't like it. When the green 36 gets finished, we'll be beating that into oblivion, smashing into each other. Yeah, there'll be some funny stuff produced with that car. Yeah. So keep your eyes peeled. We'll probably be at a track near you, or in a bush, or in a ditch somewhere. <laughs> We're also going to try and focus on our video series. So more homegrown videos where we can bring people that we know and don't know, get them to talk about their cool cars. Also, more Spanners and Mash. We, we recently started mm -hmm. to, to decide that we should just be filming everything because a lot of stuff we do is pretty stupid. It doesn't really have a home on the channel sometimes, so we've just been throwing compilations together of, of all the crazy sort of stuff that we start doing. I think it's probably a good thing to document it and yeah. give you guys insight into what we're trying to do. and hopefully make it more personable as well. So it's kind of a little bit more transparent. There is a lot of stuff we miss filming here, just because there's always something yeah. going on. So it'd be good to actually make sure we're getting all of that on camera. Yeah, we're going to be focusing on a number of our series, but also we want to just do Reckless and Stupid. Tap into just little mini series. Like the other day we went to British Motor Museum. We kind of want to go around the country, even abroad, and just document various car museums, car collections. Mm -hmm. We are massive car nerds, so we thought it would be a cool way to document car culture. I think we'll go to a lot of the bigger ones for that, but then we also want to try and find some of the little hidden gems. You should just <laughs> drill out our eyeballs. Oh, yeah. Oh, Still yeah. cameras. So, yeah, this year that has just gone was hectic for us. Obviously, setting up the business, the workshop, trying to create content and trying to build the community it was a lot of hard work, but I feel like we have achieved quite a lot. There's still a lot to achieve this coming year, uh, so keep your eyes posted on that. Yeah, we've taken on quite the workload. Usually, if people start a brand or a business or whatever, they just go with one, and we've decided to 
The event, the whammy. merchandise, Ooh. yeah, content, That's garage, quadruple whammy. Yeah, so we're really just actually trying to build the brand, but hopefully we can do it with your support. So with having said that, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other social media platforms. If you want to help support us as well, check out weaselworks.com. Everything goes back into the brand. Like mm -hmm. we have not taken a penny, and probably won't ever take a penny from this thing because <laughs> we are committed to it till. Death. Death, mate. Yeah, <laughs> if you like everything that we've been putting out or you dislike anything we always want to hear back from you guys it does mean a lot to us so leave us a comment on our videos drop us a message and tell us what you want to see really tell me your credit card details you're probably not even watching yeah. this video anymore <laughs> or you've, you've had a very long asleep. Asleep. <laughs> keep your eyes peeled yeah sweet man till next time bye bye that's all folks